Today I want to talk about Blake Lively. Although she is arguably modern Hollywood's most likable actress. Oh no, 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 thank you, please. I also kind of feel like her career is something like this. So, what separates Blake from others? Is it just her acting? Does she deserve the fame and credit she gets? Or to sum it up, what makes Blake Lively so special? August 25th, 1987 was a special day. Not because Marvel didn't kill itself, but because a young girl named Blake Ellender Lively was born in the Tarzana neighborhood of Los Angeles, California, as she grew up within a film-minded family. I got that on Etsy. She quickly appeared as a 10-year-old in the by her father directed Sandman. But then Blake was like, well, I've definitely gained a lot of confidence and experience, but I'm not that interested. I rather prefer Stanford University. She ultimately attended Burbank High School and graduated. But then she was like, whoops, looks like I've changed my mind. And she returned to acting by appearing in The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants before starring in these two films while she's at it. That certainly delivered one thing, recognition. But then it happened. In 2007, Blake Lively starred as Serena van der Woodsen all the way until 2012 in the teen drama Gossip Girl, which gained her even more recognition and her main breakthrough. Not before partially turning down college to do so. It's better this way. She then participated in more projects, even collaborating with Padme, Darth Vader, Batman, Leonard Bernstein, Hawkeye, and even Don Draper, before working on Green Lantern, where she went on and met the love of her life. Why TD? No, but she did met up with... Life doesn't have to be something that just happens to her. That's right. It didn't take Blake much longer before getting more recognition and more roles partially due to the fame of his husband. Which is also kinda my point. Would Nicole Kidman have as much fame if she wasn't married to Tom Cruise? Would Angelina Jolie have as much fame if she wasn't married to Brad Pitt? And so, would Blake Lively have the same fame if she wasn't married to Ryan Reynolds? The answer is yes! If you look at Blake's career after Green Lantern, probably her most famous movie is Deadpool and Wolverine, in which she only made a cameo. Then again, that's a filmography aspect. Let's look at... Through premieres, films, guest appearances and 46 million Instagram followers, you can often be seen in public. And when Blake does, she basically speaks two languages, the English language and the body language. Now, I'm not a body language expert, but smiling, waving, arms wide, slow body movement are definitely signs of confidence and makes her a much more pleasant character on camera. I am looking for a totally unknown friend that both me and my husband will have so much that our connections are undeniable to the public eye. Thank you. It's not really hard to gain recognition as of 2024 when you're close friends to Taylor Swift. Yet there is one speciality that Blake has up her sleeve. So special that everyone can relate to it. Relevance. I already mentioned Instagram and Taylor Swift, but that's not all. Video games, specifically Guitar Hero, Passion for food, feminism, philanthropy, anti-partying, anti-alcohol, sense of humor. All of these generally create a very up-to-date profile and effortlessly easy to relate to. That's just lazy writing. Coming back to the main question, what makes Blake Lively so special? Well, at first, she's a very talented actress, but not like this. Suppose you run your business and let me run mine. Or this. No one is leaving Los Alamos. She has a great eye for perfecting details and shows strong commitment, but it's rather knowing how to create and maintain a strong status, even without necessarily the most insane repertoire, through the appearance of a strong leading lady, relevance and relatability. And maybe, just maybe, you could even call her the embodiment of a modern American dream. <laughs> 